Alright, so I'm going to show you how to scrap a set of motorcycle forks. So I've an 81 Suzuki GS 650 actually. First what you want to do is take these four bolts out. Keep those, those are aluminum bolts of steel. And there's two rubber mounts that go in there. Pop those right out. And then this whole thing is aluminum. Alright, now you want to flip them over, take these two nuts off. Pop this piece off, piece of aluminum, keep that separate. So what you want to do is take this nut off, larger, set this off, set it back to this way. Feature off, take the axe off. Now, what you have is two little Allen bolts, one on each side. Let's see that one? You want to take those up. I'll throw it up in a vise because these pieces are loose, so they'll spin on you when you try to turn them. So just throw it up in the vise. This bolt's going to let all the oil out. There's not a whole lot in it but it does let it out, so just make sure you have something underneath to catch it. Unless, you, unless you're doing outside, then not a big deal. And always remember, use leverage. Stick the Allen wrench in there, and you loop up the wrench on top like that, break it like it's nothing. We break this nut loose again using leverage. They get like it's nothing. There's a snap ring inside there. That you gotta get out to pull the, the rest of the way out. Snap ring's a little rusty, it's a little hard to get out, but once you get it, you can take a small screwdriver and you just work it up under there. And just work it out all the way around. That snap ring's out. And it's up. What you gotta do is just grab that side, make sure that's tight in the vise, and just keep push it in, but don't push it too far because the oil squirts out of this end. Caught most of it. After I moved it. Yeah, just push it in, don't push it all the way, and just tug on it hard. It, the seal's press fit in there, so it's a tight fit. But it does come out. Now just let that one keep draining out before you start the other one. It's less of a mess. So now we've got other part. You've almost got clean aluminum, but you got these two steel studs up top.